An apprenticeship would be good for me because it would better my uh, path away of life. And, uh, I would like to get into bricklaying. Obviously it would help me support my family and help me have a better mental, stable mind and a better life for myself and my family in the future. I'm down here at Wales at HMP Prescott uh, looking at the huge work opportunities in this prison for offenders. The uh, brilliant governor here has got them doing sitting guild qualifications in bricklaying, in recycling. Uh, there's a farm here, they get to work on license on the railways. The number of skills or the range of skills that prisoners are getting in this establishment are quite wide. We've got uh, a range of uh, training programmes running, uh, ranging from uh, bricklaying to barbering to hairdressing to forklift truck driving. Uh, we've got a prison population with around about 260 individuals and so it's 260 individual needs so we try and offer as wide a range of opportunities for them as possible. We can support that with uh, essential skills, basic literacy, basic numeracy if required and then through our community placement team we can hopefully place them into employment when they're in prison so they can go out on a temporary release licence and then longer term they can have sustained employment in the chosen area of their career development. It is really a model for what we want to roll out across the prison estate, getting offenders into employment because we know it's good for them, helps them to seize that second chance to turn their lives around, but also critically good for our communities and protecting the public because getting offenders into work drives down reoffending. And there's a missing piece in this uh, puzzle that we are filling today, which is uh, removing the bar on offenders in prison engaging in apprenticeships. That will provide a critical stepping stone uh, along that pathway into work by giving them the skills, giving them the work experience uh, to get jobs on release.